up everybody what's up everybody I'm back at y'all with another video now for this one we supposedly supposedly we have some Halloween news now tell me the like this could be rumors for all we know Tommy Doyle is coming back for Halloween kills alright so this could be rumors for all we know this literally could be rumors but um that's why I don't want to make a video while I was just seeing how much people was going to make a video about it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well do a video about it too. So, um, so yeah, um, so we got some Halloween news. Tommy Doyle is supposedly coming back for Halloween Kills. Now, do I really think he'll come back? Um, sort of and sort of not. Because, you know, this is probably too good to be true. You know, Tommy Doyle literally coming back for Halloween Kills. That's sort of too good to be true. But I'm hoping this ain't rumors because I'm a diehard Halloween fan. Like, literally, I'm a Halloween fanatic. Like, um, like literally, I'm a big fan of Halloween. And, um, you know, like I said before, how... Michael Myers is my number one horror icon, and Chuck is my number two horror icon. Both of them, I rewatch both of them constantly. I love all those movies a lot. So supposedly Tommy Doyle is coming back for Halloween Kills, and um, I'm hoping this is true. I'm really hoping this is true because that will freaking make. Halloween Kills, an awesome movie, and um, I'm hoping this is true, I really am, like, I hope this is true, because if this is true, I'll be freaking happy, I'm pretty sure all the Die Hard Halloween fans will be happy if Tom Doyle comes back. Um, and stuff, so yeah, I, I'm... Like, I'm hoping this is not a rumor. I'm hoping this is true. And then, you know, of course, there's... Well, this part ain't a rumor. Um, you know, of course, that we're getting James G. Courtney back. And since I'm doing this video, I might as well make that... Talk about that, too. Um, you know, we got James G. Courtney coming back. That's confirmed. And we also got Nick Castle playing... You know, cameos like you did in the last movie. That's confirmed. So, yeah, um, I'm excited about that. I'm really excited about that because, like, James G. Courtney became one of my favorite Michael Myers. He's like the Kane Hodder of Michael Myers, literally. You know, like, um, you know, Kane Hodder played the great Jason. He's, like, one of my favorite Jasons. Like, um, James G. Courtney, what he did with Michael Myers in Halloween 2018, he was a fucking savage in that movie. He was fucking a beast. He was he was fucking up some people in that movie. Oh my god, he was like, like I got the um, you know Nick Castle played the perfect Michael Myers in the original Halloween. <laughs> James Corden, he played him even better. I was like, holy shit, how the fuck he played him even better? But he did it. So I can't wait to see him his betrayal of Michael Myers in the, in Halloween Kills. So yeah, I'm hoping that Tommy Doyle is not a rumor. I'm really hoping that's not a rumor because I would love to see Tommy Doyle be in Halloween Kills. I would love to see that. I would want to see that really freaking bad. And I'm hoping this is not a rumor. I'm hoping this is not a rumor. You know, um, because, you know, the original Halloween's always going to be a, one of the best horror films, if not the best horror film of all time. Um, you know, the original Halloween is like the best. This is what made horror, horror icons big. This came out in 1978, and this is what made horror icons bigger. After this, everything started becoming, all the horror films started becoming huge after Halloween. And this movie is good to watch on Halloween. I watch it every October. I watch all these films every October. Um, but yeah, and you got the original Halloween 2, which is, um, the mask is great, you know, but the kills are great, but I feel like this ain't a 
perfect movie, but I do enjoy it. Um, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. They should have just called it Season of the Witch and then people wouldn't have got pissed, but... Yeah, I remember when I saw this as a kid and I was like, this is some bullshit. Where the fuck is Michael Myers? You know? When I was a kid, but... Yeah, then you got... Because Michael Myers is a badass killer and you got Halloween 4, which is a great film. Like, I want Jamie Lloyd back. You know, I want... Um, I want them to make a Halloween movie that takes place... A few years after um, part four, Halloween four, I would like to, you know, and then bring Daniel Harris back to play um, the Jamie Lloyd role, and and then the, leave it a few years after Halloween four, and then we got this Halloween five, which is the only, if I had to make one positive that I have with Halloween five, is the kills. Now I like all the kills in the film, I do. And the opening scene was decent, but the, but the kills is probably what saved it a little bit for Halloween 5, but other than that, it was a big, 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 big disappointment to the franchise because Halloween 4 was so good, and then they fucked it up with Halloween 5, with story-wise and stuff, and the mask was shit too, but Halloween 4, the mask was shit in the film, the mask was shit in Halloween 4, but the film was still good itself film was great perfect film and then you got Halloween 5 which is they messed it up but the kills was the only good thing about Halloween 5 then you got Halloween H2O which is or the Halloween with Ghost of Michael Myers which is like that one didn't have a good story with that either but it still felt like Halloween but it didn't have a good story but the kills were only good with that and the mask was good that's the only parts I liked about it. And Halloween H2O, the only negative I have with it was the masks. They wore three different masks in the film and I didn't like that. And you got Halloween Resurrection, which is the worst Halloween movie. That's like, that I barely rewatch at all. Probably every Halloween, I would have a Halloween marathon where I watch all the Halloween movies back to back. But yeah, other than that, though, I don't rewatch Halloween um, Resurrection that often because it's just a bad movie. Then we got Rob Zombie's Halloween, which is the first Rob Zombie's Halloween wasn't too bad. I did like the backstory. A lot of people don't, but I do like the backstory of Michael Myers when he was a kid in this film uh, and why he done been the killer, why he is, the, is why he is, why he is the killer and stuff, why he is the killer in um, this film. I didn't think it was too bad. The kills were great. The mask was decent in the film. I didn't love the mask, but it was decent. Then you got Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which is that there's some things I like about it, and there's also a lot of things I hate about it. So this one has mixed for me. Like, I loved all the kills. Uh, I thought there was, like, they put some creepy scenes here and there. I, I, did, I did enjoy. The mask was shitty in this film. But I love all the kills in the film. So yeah, um, how well, I was always telling me too, it was like a mix. A little bit, you know, there's a lot of things I love about it, and there's a lot of things I hate about it. So yeah, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Then we get to Halloween 2018. I even love the case. Like, look how cool this case looks. Michael Myers and stuff. Now... Halloween 2018 was a surprise hit to me. Like, I couldn't believe it was how good it was. Like, it feels like it got made in the 90s. It feels like a 90s horror slasher with Michael Myers. Like, it literally feels like a Michael Myers Halloween movie. And this film has everything I would want in Halloween movie. And I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. Hopefully, it's as good as Halloween 2018. Hopefully, it's as good. Because this is like the second best Halloween movie in the franchise. This is the best sequel we've ever gotten. And Halloween 2018 was phenomenal. They put the essence of the character in Halloween 2018. And I love that movie a lot. I loved it from start to finish. Um, so yeah, I, um, I'm hoping that this ain't rumors though. I'm hoping that this ain't rumors about Tommy Doyle coming back. Because I really want him to come back. Um, 
because you know that would that would that would make a lot of the fans happy, especially me. I would be so freaking on board with that. I'll be so happy if they do that. Um, and hopefully it ain't rumors. Hopefully it ain't rumors because I wouldn't want this to be rumors, y'all. You know, that would suck if this ended up becoming rumors. But I'm hoping this ain't rumors with Tommy Doyle coming back. Because a lot of the fans would be really, really happy if Tommy Doyle comes back. If they want to listen to the fan. If they want to listen, if they want to listen to the fans, bring Tommy Doyle back in Halloween. Um, because the fans would love that. I'm pretty sure all the fans would love to see Tommy Doyle come back for another Halloween film. You know, pretty sure all the fans would be happy with that. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for Halloween Kills to come out next year. Y'all, next year's topping this year for movies. Next year's gonna be better than this year for movies. Next year, we got Fast and Furious 9 coming out. We've got, um, The Conjuring 3 coming out. And we got another Halloween movie coming out. So, we got a bunch of movies to look forward to next year. And I'm excited. And... Like, it's a great day to be alive to be a horror fan. It really is. And, um, I'm freaking excited. You know, I'm excited for Halloween Kills. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know when the video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.